Hello guys, and welcome back to the channel. The crew motorfest has had its mid-season patch, or whatever they call it. Some people constantly panicking because they were rewinding all over the place and that has been fixed, or sorta at least. And some people were even using that uh, to grind for parts. Although it's probably the worst method to get parts is uh, rewinding on feet. You will get some parts and eventually you might get some yellow parts, but it's a little bit of a grind. No matter what you method you're going to use, it will be a grind no matter what. You can do things like the e-hummer event over and over and over, or you can do the loot box method. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. What you're looking at here is uh, obviously a map of the Crew Motorfest, the Hawaiian map. And every single red dot that you see on this map is a loot box location. Now, uh, I think there are 43 or 44 uh, out there on the map. But um, what I've done is I have not numbered the middle ones here, as you can see. But we have managed to uh, sort of come up with a route which includes 30 loot box locations. And uh, that's why we uh, sort of did it like this. Now, we gave them some names. Uh, you can adjust that to your own liking when you know where these box locations are. Uh, we obviously will have a look at uh, all 30 of these locations in a second. Uh, we will boot up the game and there are different methods of doing this. So the one on top there, uh, let's assume we start there. It's number one is uh, the Turtle Beach Resort. Number two here is uh, a little lighthouse. Number three is uh, the Lie Island. Number four is uh, the Black Beach. Number five is uh, the Monastery, which is a little bit into the forest, but with the sniffer set, you will pick up that signal if you just keep driving on the uh, coastal road. And that's sort of uh, what we're doing, which we're going to do a one lap around the map and then uh, see what we can get. Number six is uh, the Kanoe uh, parking lot. There's a parking over there. Uh, that's where that box will spawn. Number seven is the uh, Mopuku Island. Number eight is um, above the highway. It's the tunnel highway, so that's why I call it highway tunnel. Number nine is a uh, coconut resort. <clears throat> Number ten uh, is a bit of a tricky one. That is uh, in the crater uh, in that mountain over here, right bottom of the map. Number eleven is the uh, racetrack, but it's actually on top of the racetrack, uh, the radio tower over there. You have to go there uh, with a plane. That's the fastest way. Number twelve is uh, Diamond Hat. 13 is the city park, Honolulu Park. 14 is the uh, state capital. 15 is the airport. So these three uh, boxes are in the city. Number 16 uh, is what I call the 9-11 shopping mall. Uh, what does that mean? You have the 9-11 balloon over there, the container. And uh, it's across uh, on that shopping mall uh, that is around there. It's a bit of a shopping center. Uh, we have the uh, museum boat there as well. You could, for instance, call it a museum boat. Number 17 um, is the Dream Girl playground. You have the uh, Dream Girl container over there. This is like a little playground there. That's where the box will spawn. 18 uh, is the Harbor Island. 19 uh, is what I call Harbor Resort. That's the resort closest to the harbor, uh, pretty much. Number 20 is uh, Hill. We just call it Hill. Uh, me and my mates, because it spawns on a hill. Uh, number 21 is uh, the Volcano Bridge. It uh, spawns under the bridge, but you sort of have that uh, volcano uh, surface. 22 is Volcano Speed Trap, and uh, 23 is uh, the Shopping Mall. You can also call that uh, Volcano Town or whatever you want. Number 24 is uh, Kano Point. 25 is uh, the Beach Boat. That is the box is inside a boat which is uh, in the ocean, so uh, we call that beach boat. Twenty six is a river bank, uh, also that a little bit inside the mountain. But if you drive around there with a sniffer car, it will pick up the signal. 
Number 27 uh, is Halewa Resort. 28 is uh, Turtle Rock. 29 is a bit tricky. If you drive into this corner here between Turtle Rock and Turtle uh, Beach Resort, if you drive into this corner, you will get like one or two signals and it will pick up 29, which is uh, the off-road mountain. Why, why do I call it off-road mountain? There are two off-road events and uh, one of them you can just travel and uh, then the box is right next to it. And uh, 30 is uh, what we call a uh, water tank, some sort of silo thing, whatever. We call it water tank. And that is sort of the route that we do. You can do that route uh, clockwise or counterclockwise. That is uh, obviously up to you. I've done this before in the crew too. Uh, I still find this the fastest way to get things done. So uh, that's what we will do. We'll have a look at these 30 with the names over here. I will go over those names and uh, make it work uh, that way. see let me move that there if he wants to but he doesn't want to apparently why doesn't this thing want to move huh? there we go I'll put it there so that I know what names I gave it myself now obviously you can drive around from box to box and uh, after a certain time you will pick up a signal and then drive to the next one that is an option but there is some sort of time code in there and that means that if you just stay where you are for a minute or you drive for a minute i think it's about a minute a minute and a half the next box in your session will spawn which also means you can see it on the map so we will do both methods, we will drive around a bit and see uh, how that works. Sometimes you have to drive to three, four, five different box locations uh, to actually make that work before it starts pinging. But you can also just drive for a minute and then stop and say like, okay, I know now that there is a new box spawned in my session and then it's just a matter of uh, finding it on the map. And of course, if you do a couple of of these laps you know these box locations you know where they are you know where to look on the map and then you can travel to an event nearby or uh, some sort <clears throat> so we will go by that map so we will go uh, to number one first so that it sort of uh, makes sense the picture that was in there uh, in the beginning of the video Once we pass this uh, slideshow here, I don't know if you guys have that too, but Back at the motor fest. beginning of the game, that was a smooth introduction video. <laughs> the more you boot up the game, the more that things turned into a slideshow. I have uh, cleared my cache and all that stuff. Uh, it doesn't help, so it's, it's definitely something with the game. Uh, oh yeah, I'm on the keyboard, so let me think for a second. How oh, I need to get out of this place. Apparently with T, Go I keep forgetting that. Goodbye. Here for you, driver. Let's first get rid of her, because the last thing you want is her interfering with things. So this is our uh, car. And so the, uh, eventually uh, what you're looking for So what do we got here? This is what I called uh, the so-called uh, bike set. It has a nitrochemist, seven of them. That is sort of uh, what you're looking for when you're grinding for a discipline. This is what I call the bike set. Uh, you need it Street tier one, street tier two, and racing. Uh, maybe one in a rally rate as well. Whatever discipline has bikes, 
you could use one of these sets uh, you're gonna find double nitro parts anyway then you can as well keep them for a bike set pure bender on it uh, I think I have one or two extra pumps in there five pures and then the rest uh, bended so seven bendeds for the lean bonus uh, for the bike so that is what that is of course uh, we also have one uh, for the car that one is just a nitro chemist with pure and extra pump maxed out the percentages as well of course and then we have the uh, xp magnet maxed out with uh, legend and rich gives you uh, way more xp than you normally would get and also uh, a bit more money that's why i put legend and rich on it this is something that you could use in the beginning of the month when the main stage resets if you put this set on one of the uh, vehicles that are boosted for the week then you can get 80 percent more xp from whatever it is that you do if you use uh, the car itself here legend 28 the magnet set itself gives you 25 percent extra so that's 53 30 percent from the weekly boosted cars that's 83 percent if you put this set on one of those boosted vehicles so uh that's quite an interesting one uh, if you need some money you can also uh, make that uh, a box magnet set same bonuses I'm using here legend and rich gives you more XP and more money obviously 21% uh, rich here but also 15% from the box set so this one is more based on money the XP magnet is more based on uh, experience obviously This set uh, is important to uh, find the loot boxes and open them. So you want to open it with something like this. That's going to give you double parts. Some of these boxes are going to give you 12, 13, up to 14 parts. If it's a gold box and you open it with a box like this, there is a chance that you can get 7, 8, 9 gold parts from a gold box. So this is... Once you started grinding with the loot box method, this is one of those sets that you would uh, like to start with. Obviously, you're not going to have that. So if you have one or two of these sitting, recalibrate them to Lucky and Goldfinger and fill them up with purple parts and also recalibrate those to Lucky and Goldfinger. Also in your legendary menu, make sure you have all points possible on Lucky and uh, Goldfinger. It will give you more parts and it will increase the quality of the parts when you open the box with something like this. And then of course the score breaker with uh, pure and skilled. Uh, also here I have five pures on it and two extra pumps to have a little bit of uh, nitro refill. Some people have seven pures and seven skilled. That is also uh, whatever you want to do. I usually put in one or two extra pumps. Uh, on a bike set and on a score breaker as well as long as you have seven skills on it on your score breaker that's uh, the most important one and that makes it uh, seven sets if you include of course this one this is the set that you're gonna look your boxes for this is the sniffer set a normal car will not pick up some of the signals for the box this car will pick up if there is a box somewhere nearby, it will pick it up. Treasure hunt 70%, collector 56. So it's going to uh, increase the frequency of the boxes appearing and uh, the collector. Uh, that's what the collector does. And the treasure hunt is sort of the radar. You have a wider radar to detect the boxes. Uh, also here, if you have some spare legendary points, put them on collector and treasure hunt, which will even uh, increase your radius even more and also uh, the frequency so this is the car we're driving at the moment uh, street tier one street tier two we have sets of that um, if you want to drive a hypercar then you're gonna have to look for a, a hypercar set like this or an off-road vehicle a rally rate then you need to look for uh, whatever it is if you have somewhere a set like this that's gonna be your sniffing car we're looking for the boxes and we're gonna open them uh, with something else now 
The benefit is I started with a 600. And why a 600? Because that discipline is 3 tier 1. Uh, also there I have everything sitting. Uh, I think this is my loot digger, yeah. This set you can use to find all the yellow sets for your 3 tier 1. Once you're done with it, take them off and put them on a 750 guard. It doesn't matter, you're opening boxes, it doesn't matter what performance level this thing has, but it still has maxed out Lucky and Goldfinger. So if you do not have a 750 yell yellow set, but you do have one like this for 600, put them on your 750 car, you open the box, the loot box with the 750 car, you will get 750 parts. So you can use this set twice, once in 3 tier 1 and once in 3 tier 2. That's why I started with 3 tier 1. Uh, meanwhile, I also have a loot digger set, uh, as i just shown you, in 3 tier 2. But I started with this set uh, to open the boxes. Let's order uh, what you're looking for uh, eventually. I have done 3 tier 1, 3 tier 2, uh, drift, drag, rally raid almost done, and uh, the plane almost done as well. So, what we're gonna do is, this is our map that we uh, showed you earlier. There are a couple of events as you can see here. So we can just travel there. If you have done 10 playlists, you can fast travel here. And where are we? On box number one, the Turtle Beach Resort. Now, my radar is not pinging. That means this box is not here. But where is it? It is right here, on the beach. So this is uh, on our map that we used earlier. This is the number one Turtle Beach Resort. That's that location. So I'm just gonna drive for now. We're not gonna drive all around the map. I'm just gonna show you quickly uh, the two methods of doing it. Our radar picks up the signal. So what do we have here? We have box number two. And box number two is uh, what I call a little lighthouse. That's right there. So we drive up there. It's a green box. I'm gonna switch to the plane. I'm gonna open the box. Ten parts including one yellow, although it was a green box. How is that possible? Well, uh, also here, of course. We have a maxed out loot digger set. So even from a green box, you're gonna get eight, nine, ten parts. And it might have one or two or even three yellows. Same goes for a blue and a purple. Uh, the higher the color, the more chance you have on yellows. But even from a green box, you can get up to three uh, yellow sets. Now, what we do then is we quickly look in something where we don't have planes on. You delete all this that you don't need. And even the yellow one, we're gonna delete because we have our loot digger already on that plane. So we just delete it, that gives us thousands of these uh, brown currencies. As you can see, we're almost on a million. So we have deleted a lot of these, but that is uh, sorta how it works. Now, 
There is not much that I need to find uh, on the planes. More specifically, uh, I think only this one here. Yep. I'm missing uh, the XP magnet on the gearbox. That's the only part that I'm missing. I have all the other sets complete uh, also on the plane. So I'm missing one more plane part and I'm done with the plane as well. And then I can start uh, with the boat. And uh, also there, same story. You start with uh, uh, some lucky Goldfinger, uh, whatever. Uh, you have purple parts. Start opening boxes. You will start getting some yellows. And uh, you put them on six different vehicles. You will get those sets together uh, that way. We'll switch back to our... Uh, to our little car here. What you also want to do, uh, speed traps and so, press the skip button because it's actually blocking the signals from the loot boxes. So always make sure that you uh, scratch that out. Now over there, Explorers of Mauna, uh, a little bit left of it, uh, that's what I call Lie Island. There is a box location. But of course we just picked one up so this one is not pink. So we'll drive to the next one. We can cut a little bit here because there are no boxes here anymore. The next one is Black Beach and Monastery. And we're messing up and we're like, and the time is ticking. Meanwhile, but that's exactly what we want. We want to get to like about a minute and a minute and a half. Drive to uh, location number four, which is the Black Beach, and there we go. We pick up the signal. So so far, we have passed four uh, box locations, and we have found two of them. That's not always going to be the case, but you can just stay on the road. Of course, uh, that makes it go faster. right here under that hut switching to the plane opening the box no I want to open the box apparently I press something which is apparently my fast five on the keyboard uh, I normally play on a wheel <laughs> but for video reasons I play on the keyboard and I have no idea where the buttons are Again, we opened a green box. It has nine parts and two yellows. The purple parts are gonna give you 400 points of those things. Blue is uh, 200, green is 100, and uh, a yellow, if you delete it, gives you a thousand of those consumables. That's how you get them. I, I'm deleting everything because I know I only need a uh, XP magnet, uh, obviously. But meanwhile, <clears throat> let's assume that we uh, find a part here. I'm immediately going to put that on a, on, on a different vehicle. So we have six vehicles also here in the planes. I have my score breaker, which is complete. 
<coughs> Nitrochemist is complete. Uh, the box magnet is complete. The sniffer set is complete. So I can also fly around with the plane potentially. Uh, the loot digger is complete. And uh, then that uh, XP magnet where we still are missing one. So we also here on the plane we have almost six sets. We have 41 of 42 yellow parts. So in this case I'm looking specifically for that magnet uh, gearbox. You put it on that plane, you recalibrate it. That usually is going to cost you uh, 30 seconds or a minute. And we have done uh, four locations. Now we were messing a bit in the menu. That probably means <coughs> that the next box in our session has spawned. Monastery is number five on our list. not there parking is not there Mokupu uh, Island is the next one it's not there you can sort of check where the boxes are. If the box is there, then you could, for instance, travel to this event and get there with your sniffer car, it will pick up the signal. Somewhere around here in our session, a box has spawned. And normally, if you check the uh, upcoming five locations, once you do a few laps, going by the picture I showed you in the beginning of the video, you know where the next locations are. You have highway tunnel here, box is on top of the tunnel. It's not here. And uh, you keep going like that. Coconut Resort is a little bit l harder to find. In such a way, uh, you need to play around with the map a little bit. Because the thing is inside. And you can sort of see uh, if the box is there or not. Pretty much. So after a minute, a minute and a half, you can stop driving if you want. The box will appear somewhere. We stopped on a bit of a... Uh, I think it's going to be uh, probably Monastery. The longer you look on the map, <coughs> meanwhile the time is ticking, eventually uh, the box will be there somewhere. Of course, uh, it's not as easy uh, as with this wheel, where I just press a button to scroll through it. One of these boxes must have uh, spawned by now. Oh, there it is. That's what I mean. So it is the Monastery, because meanwhile, we are like a minute and a half or two minutes in there, and that is exactly where our box is. You can see the box on the map. If you always check the five upcoming locations from our little map over there, you will see a box there. Not only will you see the box, you will see what color it is, and then it's just a matter of, ah, I can travel to this event here. Go there with your car. The sniffer car obviously is going to pick it up. Because you travel so close, that is it always picks it up. Purple box. It also gives you 40,000. The gold box gives you uh, about 80,000. See what we got. 13 parts including 3 yellows. 
it is a nitro chemist on our uh, gearbox we are looking for a magnet but in this case we are looking for one specific part so uh, it might take a little bit to find that last part and i don't really need it necessarily immediately we have the score breaker we have the nitro chemist so uh, probably next up i'm going to move to the boat but i don't have many parts in the boat so i'm gonna have to uh, start messing around with it and put some purple open a few boxes with a boat uh, till you have seven purples and put lucky and gold finger on it and start with that opening boxes you take your sniffer car or your sniffer plane and you look for the boxes once you find the boxes you open it with your lucky and you will start getting some yellows put some sets together if you manage to get the uh, yellow loot digger together then of course you're gonna get things like this green box eight nine parts blue box 10 11 parts purple box 12 13 gold box up to 14 parts gold box of course is the best one because out of those 14 parts it can have like nine or ten yellows if you're really lucky at least four or five usually six seven or eight sort of the average that you can get from there then it doesn't take you that long to find yellow parts in the beginning it's going to go very smoothly but of course, like now, I'm looking for this one specific part out of the 42. It's going to be a bit of a grind. But this is always, was and always will be one of the fastest ways to get your gold parts. And you can fly around, you can drive around, you can just drive for a minute and then open the map and look for the next box. Uh, while I'm explaining it, there's a good chance that our next boss already ha has spawned in our session. Because we only did like, this is Monastery, this is like number 5. So we have found number 2, number 4 and number 5 uh, out of the 30 so far. And now we're stuck here on the map and we're driving to the middle of the map where we don't need to be. So you can uh, again travel back to the coastal road. Because that is uh, how we do things. We drive around one lap, either clockwise or counterclockwise, around that map. We stay away from the middle. In the middle there are like six, seven boxes. Uh, very often they are in the forest, uh, very hard to get there, there are no events nearby. Uh, or in, uh, also if you do from north to south in the middle of the map, what you also have is uh, there is one box on a farm here or there, out of those six, seven, eight, which are uh, potentially there. That map is... Uh, or that middle road is it's just it's too short so you're only gonna get like one or maybe two if you're lucky uh, loot boxes over there that's why we are always uh, me and my mates we're always driving around the map uh, to get the things going so we have done one to five uh, I will show you uh, the rest sort of uh, on the map number six is uh, the parking lot that is uh, exactly here if you come on that road it's on this parking lot here right over there that's where the box is number seven uh, is Mokpuku Island uh, as I've shown you already earlier you can travel to that event over here and uh, it is here in the uh, fields here you can if you have a sniffer car, you are go to that event there, you turn the car, it will pick up the signal, you just drive forward, it's in the middle of that forest there. So uh, that is number seven. Number eight, you have that highway here, you see where the tunnel is, right there. On top of it, that's where number seven is. Uh, number eight, I mean, number seven was the island. Number 9 is a uh, coconut resort. Uh, I already showed you that earlier when we were looking for the next box. That's over there and it's uh, exactly inside that building. That's where uh, that one is. Number 10 is a bit uh, tricky. It's in the mountain crater. Uh, what's it called? The crater has a name. Coco crater. It's right there. It's under uh, the big tree over there. So you sort of have to go... Uh, Search it underneath, next to that puddle here, and see uh, if the box appears here uh, or not. 
And that's sort of uh, how you do it. Number 10 is right on top there. Or 11, where are we now? 11. It's on that radio tower over here. The box spawns right there, as you can see. So that is our next box. Because meanwhile, while we were talking, we were in that event again. Where are you traveling to? The um, hectic Henoma. This time, we're just gonna take our plane immediately. Because we saw the box is there, so we don't need to pick up the signal. And I think it was even a yellow one. No. Oh, it's a green again. Ah, looked like yellow. We're obviously looking for uh, as many uh, greens as possible. Nope. <laughs> of course not. We're looking for yellows, of course, but... With the loot digger set that we have on it, it can even give us yellows, these green boxes and the blue boxes. You're obviously looking for purple and gold boxes because they're, they're your biggest chance uh, of getting a gold box. But as you can see, we have three yellows here out of our green box. And uh, one of them was a yellow gearbox. There we go. And that is the last part that we need. So we are done with the plane while I'm recording this video uh, explaining the loot box method. We are done. Um, if I can find my plane at least. And uh, not even that. It's even better than that. Because this part I just noticed comes with the right bonus as well. It comes with legend and rich, so the only thing we have to reroll is uh, get the maximum percentage. There we go. This is not how it goes normally. Sometimes you have to reroll like 100 times. That's more how it normally goes. Uh, not that bad, not that bad. Legend 28, rich 21. That sounds familiar. That means our XP magnet is 100% complete. That also means if we check all our planes. Now we're gonna double check it. Recalibrated score breaker. Recalibrated plane uh, nitrochemist, which means um, pure and gateway on it. Gateway is the same as extra pump, but uh, it refills if you get a perfect gate and it refills faster than extra pump. So on planes, we put pure gateway. Those are the two most important ones already. But just in case, we have a box magnet set as well. We have a sniffer set if we don't want to drive around but fly around. Although on this small map, it doesn't work that well uh, as in the crew 2 with the sniffer plane. Otherwise, we will always take the plane. But the car works fine in combination with the map method that I just uh, showed you. Ludwig set complete. If we ever need another nitrochemist, we opening boxes with this set. We will find uh, a nitrochemist or a score breaker if we want an extra score breaker with some other affixes. Potentially in the future. Some of these things. Like for instance on the plane you can use a nitrochemist with pure and gateway for the events, for the plane events. But you can also use a pure extra pump in case they want you to do a rally race track or so, which we have seen before in the crew too. So that's why you keep that loot digger. In the future, you might have to open a couple of more loot boxes to get an extra uh, nitro chemist set. XP magnets in case they ever make uh, the planes XP boosted in the beginning of the month for the main stage. We take a plane and we put this set on. We're going to get 80% uh, more XP from it. And that's it. Those are our uh, six vehicles, which means the plane is completely 100% done. We go back to our sniffer car, we continue this, and we start by opening boxes with the boat now. In the beginning, especially if you don't have many uh, yellow loot diggers, you're gonna have to recalibrate some purple uh, lucky gold finger to make that work. 
but you get the idea. Uh, where were we? Number 11. We're, we already opened 5 boxes and we uh, only have looked at 11 locations of the 30 that I showed you on the map. On the map in the beginning of the video. Right. Number 12 is uh, Diamond Head. You have that speed trap here and next to it on the left is another platform. That's where uh, that box spawns. That is what I call a Diamond Head. You have this skill test where you can travel to in case you see a box uh, on the arena over there. You see the stairs of the uh, Waikiki shell right over there. On the other side of the road there are like three huts. It's the middle of that hut underneath it. That's where it is. That is uh, what I call city park. The state capital, uh, not that hard to find on the map. There it is, state capital, that's that building. The box spawns inside. That is uh, number 14. Airport, uh, also a very quick one to check because you can travel uh, to the drag event and the box is in this hangar, right in there in the corner. Then we have uh, what I call the 9-11 shopping. You can also use it, uh, say, uh, call it museum boat or whatever. Because you come from the airport and you drive over this bridge, you will pick up that signal. And it is exactly there on this uh, shopping center here. And it's in right there. There you see. <laughs> there is our next box in our session. So now we have to get to this one. Uh, there are events there. There we go. We have an American bench. You can travel and the box is right there. You get the idea. The dream girl uh, thing here. Uh, is this one here? I think it's underneath here some. There it is. As you can see, this is the next one that spawned in. This is playground, Dream Girl playground, right, right of it. Uh, what number is that? Seventeen. Eighteen is Harbor Island, which is uh, here under the trees somewhere. One of these trees here, that will spawn there. 19 is what I call Harbor Resort. Uh, the name of the thing itself is uh, Alinai uh, Resort and uh, the box is right here. If you just drive straight in there, you will already see the box. The box is in the middle inside the building. That's 19. Number 20 is Hill. And hill is, uh, if you see this yellow event here, you drive up that mountain and you go left, it's right there on this platform. As you can see, the box is there. Yeah, all of these uh, future boxes, there are now at least two or three of them spawning. And so you can travel, if you see a gold box, then travel to the gold box. But then of course, then you're skipping one or two. If you do that a lot, then uh, you're going to be on a cooldown at some point, which is about two minutes and a half before you're gonna see uh, another box. But we are just checking the locations now. Then we have a uh, volcano bridge and volcano speed trap. Volcano bridge is right there. That box is over here if there is one. And then we have uh, the shopping center over here. As you can see, that's a purple box behind the truck there. That will be our next box that we uh, potentially gonna find. If that box is not there, uh, then you can also go to Volcano Speed Trap. You go to the Speed Trap and it's that little crater next to it. That's where that box is. We know Shopping Mall is there because we just saw it. And then we have uh, number 24 is on the point here. Okay, no point. Uh, it's on the lighthouse there as well. Beach boat is the next one. Um, that is um, exactly that one. Uh, there you can see it. Also there is a purple box. 
in the boat. So we could for potentially uh, travel to this slalom and uh, just open the box there. And then we have Riverbank, which is the uh, Makalela River. And that is uh, on that platform over there. This is a bit uh, trickier to get to. Well, it's not exactly there. Yeah, it's trickier because I cannot see where I am with this stupid darkness. It's, it's here, I think. Oh yeah, there it is. So it's on this river hole here. And there it is. Our blue box, as you can see. And then we have a uh, Halewa Resort. The Halewa Island Resort over here. And on this little thing here, uh, again, also one of these huts. Let's see if this one is here. Yep, it's also there. You get the idea, meanwhile. You can drive from box to box. We know where our next three, four boxes will be. You can drive there with the car and they will all be there because those will be the ones that will you did see not all the boxes uh, and then we have a uh, turtle rock which is over here a bit harder to see I'm gonna have to turn our map because it's in between those two rocks uh, that one is not there so we're not gonna pick up that signal if we would drive there and then uh, yeah, then we have that tricky one. If you drive here in this corner, you might pick up like one or two signals. And that is uh, what I call off-road mountain. And then you have these uh, two events. It's uh, Friday night right. That's the one uh, you need to travel to. And then it uh, is exactly uh, over there. So you sort of have to come down a little bit. So if you travel there, you just drive next to it uh, and that's where it is. Let me have a look. Yeah. You drive here, you go down here. There it is. You see. Purple box over there. That's the uh, off-road mountain uh, and then number 30. Because then we are sort of uh, around the map. Number 30 is uh, what I call water tank. Why do I include it? That's over this thing here, this round thing here, what I call the water tank, probably is uh, some other stuff, but... And that box is right here uh, behind the electricity cabin, if it is there. So that is uh, sort of number 30, where we started with. You saw the methods that we are using. I will show you the map again, if I can get out of this thing here. So you can drive around from box to box. Or you take that one minute time gap that is there between uh, the box to spawn uh, next or not. That thing is annoying as hell. Why can't I pick that up? Ah, there we go. So that is sort of what we just uh, showed you. Takeaway.com. How was your food? Well, gone. <laughs> uh, this is sort of uh, the route that I just show you and the box location that I just show you. We'll keep this up uh, a little bit longer in case uh, you want to take a picture of this or put it on full screen. And those that's why I do those 30 uh, because if you drive with a sniffer vehicle around the map, you will pick up all of these 30 signals just by staying on the coastal road you one by one you will pick them up uh, not one by one because if you're actually driving then it's going to take you two minutes two minutes and a half before the next one pings so then it is possible uh, if you picked up 19 then it's possible that you're not going to get 20 21 or 22 then you will get 23 or 24. if you think like well it's been a long way uh, since i've seen a box open the map look where the box is in your session as you can see, I was just going around the map. I spotted five boxes uh, on my map. This always works. You just need to take in consideration that one minute time loop that is somewhere there. And uh, my advice was, I usually do two laps around the map. And then, uh, and then I might consider going from north to uh, 
south to check some of these but usually only pick up one one of these boxes they're also a bit harder to, they're all like on on farms in in sheds and things like that also not that interesting to find them on the map because you have to go zoom in very close and uh, look for these things in uh, the map itself and that's why i named them uh, like this you can of course name them whatever uh, works for your brain like for instance this one i call harbor resort but it's it's what's the official name alinai resort or something but i call it harbor resort because i know it's the resort close to the harbor so in my mind that works and uh of course we are also using these names uh, in our team so that they if, if one of our team found the box then they put one of those names and then uh, we know where they are and then we can see on the map if we also have a box there and uh, can get there and if not then we have the next one probably if you drive in a team you do not always get the same boxes so uh, you might get two and then somebody else gets three and then the next one in the crew gets four sometimes you get the same box so uh, that's why the map method works this works faster than uh, doing feats or or even e-hammer event which is over and over and over again here you have some variation you can just chill and drive around with your mate or uh, if you just want to do it a bit faster then you can do the map method the problem with the map method is that if you zoom in and out a couple of times the game doesn't like that very much so you might run into some error or uh, or your game freezes and you have to reboot which is not a good thing because you sort of have to look at it like this right you start up the game it is a bit of a lottery of course and you start up the game and let's say there are a thousand parts on the on the session so you sort of there is like a back with uh, yellow parts there's a back with green parts a back with blue parts and so on so and maybe there are like three or four sets of the 42 different parts for gold uh, in those thousand parts so you're looking for like 168 if there are four of them there are 168 parts out of the thousand which are the ones that you're looking for the gold parts so you want to keep going if you start with a discipline you want to keep going with that discipline till you have all the six different sets even if you don't want a, a box magnet or something just keep these parts together because if you delete them every time you're gonna keep getting them back so just make sure you have six vehicles or seven in case you also use a bike set and uh, put different yellow sets on there till you have them complete and if you keep playing you will get all of these different yellow parts eventually might take you a few hours of course but then you have the whole discipline done like now I played for two hours yesterday with the plane and today uh, I streamed for like three hours I think earlier and I was missing one part which I now found while I was showing you guys uh, what the uh, system is that I use with the loot boxes so I don't give a crap that they have did something with the rewind on I have never I've never done that I've never done that in my life also in the crew 2 we were just flying around with sniffer planes and opening loot boxes in the crew 2 it even goes faster you can get like two and a half disciplines done in a day in a day meaning six seven hour session of playing in this game it's more like one discipline one and a half disciplines a day because the yellow parts are a little bit less dropping but of course if you have a yellow loot digger set you can get up to nine gold parts from a gold box four five or six from a purple box even a blue can give you three or four and even a green one can give you three yellows as you uh, have seen in this video the loot box method don't worry too much about the fact that the rewind for the feats is no longer there this method is one of the better methods if not the best methods to get your gold parts always has been in the crew franchise that will be it guys you can see the map you can see the box and i've showed you how it works good luck finding your gold parts i will see you guys in the next one Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.